that's close enough. Artifact or no, I don't like the likes of you crashing our party. Give it a rest, Alfred. We need all the God's damned help we can get. Rescue party. Not that you'll give a triple shat damn, but we were ambushed by them bloody cultists. Bastards torched the pigsty we were staying in and made off with the Grand Duke of Baldur's Gate himself. Sure did. For all the good that does us. She's inside. One of the ground floor chambers. Guess you need to be a God's damned counselor to get room and board around here. Never a dull moment. Oi. If not over, our ass is through. through. Very well. Stock up while you can. I only hope I've brought enough to see us through. Cheeky. But, since you're asking... See any movement out there? If you're all right by Jahira, you're all right by me. Take care now. Hold out the darkness forever. to tell. I bet they're close. Watching us. Hey, it's Dannon. Let's say hi. Damn, it's good to be alive. Breathing, despite everything. Still alive, so that's progress. Looks like that odd ox made it through the shadows.
keep quiet, and you won't have to find out. All I wanted was a bit of hay, a good brushing, and a clean stall. The simple life! Is that so much to ask? I thought you'd be in the city by now. We were ambushed by cultists. Half of us were captured, the other half ran here. Off the anvil into the forge. We'll find them. Hopefully. Before you run off into the belly of the beast, there's something I need to tell you. Well, two things. Good news and bad news. I only need one more piece of infernal iron to craft an insulating chamber that can make it possible for Karlik to... Touch people! Exactly! Oh my god. It's really happening. It's been so long. We've got the iron. Let's do this thing! Hang on! I think you'll want to hear the bad news too. Yeah, sure. But first... Fix me. Please. Well. All right. This shouldn't take long. Same as last time. You'll need to install it yourself. This should do the trick. There. So did it... work? Only one way to find out. There's something I need to tell you. That engine of yours, it's contained for the moment, but it's just too hot to exist here in the material plane indefinitely. I know you know that, but the thing is, there's a cure. I wasn't making any headway with the mechanics, none at all. The environment here is just too cold to sustain metals like the ones inside you. 
You have to return to Avernus. For good. Or this thing is going to burn you up from the inside out. And sooner than you think. The minute I set foot back in Avernus, Zarya will force me back into service. I'm not doing her bidding again. I'd rather die. I get that, but don't rule it out. The world just might be better with you in it. Even in Avernus. I won't stop trying to figure out a cure, but at this point, I think we all have to face the inevitable. You read my mind. Thanks, Damon. Really, you've given me more than I could ever repay. It's been my pleasure. Good luck, both of you. Look after yourself, all right? This is the best day. The best day! I'm so happy for me, too. Now, I just need to find someone to cuddle up to tonight, and I'll be the happiest woman on the Sword Coast. I'm not sure. Depends who's got me in mind. Withers was giving me the old eye the other night. Then again, maybe it was just an old eye. Listen. I'm never going back. If you said I could die right now or live a thousand years in the hells, I'd choose to go out now with my freedom intact. I don't expect anyone to understand that. But I've been dealt a hand most people don't have to contemplate playing. Thanks, soldier. Your support means I've got one less thing to worry about. <laughs> that means a lot to me. You really are the best of the best. Of the best. I thought it was you. Saving my skin again, I see. Never seen a shapeshifted ox before. But I'm glad you dealt with it before it dealt with us. I'm glad to see you're all right. The way here was anything but easy, eh? A makeshift Harper's Fire might not be where I hope to set up shop. But maybe I've got something you can use anyway. And if you find any interesting materials in need of working, I'm happy to help. I hesitated to mention this back in the Druid's Grove, for obvious reasons. But no one has earned my trust, if not you. When Elturel was dragged into Avernus, I was drafted into a devil's smithy. It should have been awful. But infernal metal is like a wild horse. Powerful, exuberant. It'll kill you if you lack technique. I can sense some. Smell it almost. Somewhere in the area. Underground, maybe. Out there in the shadows. If you find it... Bring it to me. I'll make something incredible. Absolutely. Need anything? Using something that's already fabricated. Hmm. American. There. of us were in Avernus. We saw you fighting. You were so good. Well, I, uh, yeah, I guess I was. I mean, you should avoid fighting for devils if you can, but if you can't, it helps to have a good right hook. 
I saw you lay out a more demon in two hits. Bam, bam. We were all like, whoa. How'd you learn to fight like that? <laughs> Had to. Life didn't pull any punches. It was up to me to learn to take a hit and deal one back. I've been tossed around a lot too. Uh, I want to learn how to fight back too. From the look of things, you've got your wits about you. A clever mind and a bit of style will take you a long way. Fight with those, and you may find you never need to use your fists at all. In that case, want to buy a lucky ring I found? Ah! Nice try, Shorty. Keep it up, though, and you'll be scamming with the greats in no time. It is, isn't it? Hope he makes it out of this mess with his wits in one piece. I'd like to see him set up in a proper home in the city. Every kid deserves that. Don't be shy. Check it out. We've gone legitimate, and Mole put me in charge. I'm alive, ain't I? What's not to like? Hmm. I'm not supposed to mention it to anyone. But I do have something pretty special in stock. A key. What does it look like? What does it open? What treasures await behind its lock? That's for one lucky buyer to find out. Maul gave it to me and said I shouldn't let it go to just any old jack a day. I mean, maybe. Hmm. I guess it is kind of old. Here. Birds of a feather. Premium trinket! What are you looking for? Pleasure doing business with you. Last Light's best bargains, right here! Don't wander far. We need to talk. Hiss! I say hiss! This is my territory, and you're in it. Mmm, I'll allow it. I slinked. Of course. Good of you to notice. For my part, I have noticed the cleric is a liar. She promised me a bit of milk. But do you see any milk, do you? Nor do I, disgraceful. You've had enough, now go. Quickly, yes. Ah, you found your way. Good. I haven't forgotten. And as it happens, I was making something to help you on your way. That is, if you're still going to help Walbrun and the others. In that case, you'll be very pleased to learn what I have in store for you. A new type of smoke powder. All the bang and boom of the original, but with an extra surprise. I call it the Brilliant Retort. You'll need it if you're going to survive this cursed place. You'll need it if you're going to get into Moonrise Towers and help the Deep Gnomes taken prisoner there. You'll need it if you're going to save Wilbrin. Let's call a thing a thing. A deep gnome won't get far into the Absolute's orgy of evil. We already learned that in the Underdark with those sadistic Dwergar, didn't we? It's doubly true in this place. You, on the other hand, have proven resourceful in such infiltrations. I'll do my part according to my talents. And you, I hope, will do yours. The brilliant retort will aid you. Thus, I will make it. Let's not ruin the surprise, hmm? 
You... you do whatever it is you do. Some of us are counting on you. What now? I'm sure you would. Now, if you're done rifling through my things... Can't give up now. How delicious. Looking ahead. Assume nothing. All right. What now? Don't be shy. Have a gander at the finest stock. Need your senses sharp. Let's see what this does. Haste. Flame color. That's your name, isn't it? Art color. I'm Fistula. We we need you, sir. One of our own's been taken. A grand duke. You might know something that could help us bring him back. We found him out in the shadows, just wandering. Nothing survives out there for long. Don't know how he made it or where he came from. This is no physical ailment. It is a spiritual malaise. The man's mind has been gripped by the shadow fell, yet it has not broken. Really? Could you bring him here? You'd be glad of the help, wouldn't you, sir? No, not till I met R, anyway. It seems to be all he remembers. Thank you.
Seems like a good moment to talk. You wish to speak? We must find Thaniel. He's the embodiment of nature's power, but... But he's just a child. A child who has been trapped in this place for a hundred years. But if we can find him, we can break the curse. If you learn anything of the Shadow Fell, or of a boy with the forest in his eyes, find me at once. He is? Then I must see him. Insensible or not, he knows something. I will go to see him at once. Join me when you can. There's no other way he'd know that name. This is just what we needed. Well done. We need to wake him. He must know something about where to find Thaniel. Good. Its music might help restore him. Show it to him. Trap there. He needs help. Calm. Breathe. <laughs> You've been trapped in the shadow fell for a century. Take a moment to clear your mind. A century. You're Halsin. Thaniel said to find you. You must help him. Please. I will. But I need to know where Thaniel is. If I venture into the shadow fell blind, I will never find him. I'm not sure I can put it into words. The landscape there shifts and changes. Lavender. Whenever I saw Thaniel, I always smelled lavender. I can work with that. Rest now. Meet me by the lake shore. I have what we need to proceed, but I'll need your help. Be ready. This may prove perilous. Ida always wins. Well, my coin is on you. Just do your best, all right. Please, be welcome. Have a drink. Oh, my gods! To your very good health. You perceive a faint hint of cloth grass, a herb that is said to elicit the truth. Jahira smiles at you knowingly. It doesn't spoil the taste, if that's what you're wondering. A paralyzing agent? I do not think we're quite so far gone. Yet. You don't know what you're missing. Well over a century old, and yet it hasn't lost a hint of flavor. Still not quite so sure about you, though. People tend to lose more than just flavor when illithids get their hands on them. I speak from experience. As an air about you, something alien. Answer me true, and do not lie. The parasite is changing you, isn't it? But a river can flood and break its banks. If the parasite changes you, tries to break you, could you resist? Good. I will take your word for it. And hold you to it, too. 
I have every reason to be cautious. I've traced people like you. People with parasites in their brains. All the way here from Baldur's Gate. The cult of the Absolute is spreading through the city. Quietly, quickly, and with unsettling deliberation. We tracked them to this ancient village, only to be faced with a man we killed and buried over a century ago. Believe me, he was well and truly dead. I locked his corpse in the Thorn Mausoleum myself. He was a Sharan once. Took to building an army of dark justiciers beneath this very village. Alongside the local druids, we made it our business to see him deposed, dead and buried. But he's returned. Not only does General Ketherick Thorn live again, it seems he is no longer mortal. He has become, in fact, invincible. We met him on the road here. Commanding an army of the Absolute, intent on destroying Baldur's Gate. I put an arrow through his eye myself. Only to watch him pluck it out like a splinter. He healed right in front of me and chased us into the shadows. Things looked hopeless. But experience has taught me that no matter how bleak things look, there's always hope. You are that hope. Protected by your artifact, you can infiltrate his forces at Moonrise Towers, posing as a true soul. Find out what it is that makes him invincible, so we can strip him of his advantage. Once Gatherick is without his shield, the sword, together we assault his tower and put a final end to this blight. Ha. I appreciate your enthusiasm. Just be sure it doesn't make you leap before you look. Infiltrate the towers, and Catherick's downfall begins. What's more, you'll find the cure for that thing in your head. Any cure starts with understanding the disease. Whatever magic Catherick's using to control these tadpoles, it must be at moonrise. Until then, we keep drinking wine when we meet. You're not our only secret weapon. Isabel, a faithful cleric of Seluna, and a light in the darkness. She cast the moon shield around the inn. It's the only reason we're still alive. She's upstairs in her chambers. Tell her I sent you, and she'll see you through the shadows safely. I just want to be alone. Gone? Cultists? It was so dark. I didn't realize until the children started screaming. They rounded us up. Cut us up. Said they were taking whoever could still walk to Moonrise Towers. I managed to get away. But my love... Martin Dor Roshan. Uh, 
everything. I just wish I could have said goodbye. Do you really think so? By the gods, I hope you're right. I wish I hadn't let go of him. It's hard to imagine him making it after everything that happened. But if you find him, it would mean the world to me. What am I going to do? Goodness. I was worried they got you too. Honestly, terribly. I still can't believe it. The cultists. The screams. Roland of all people. Saved us. He said he stayed in the grove because of you. And I'm damn glad of it. Without him. Well, none of us would be here. I don't know. It just happened so quickly. How do you do it? How do you keep going? You're made of sterner stuff than me, then. You've done so much for us already. But I have to ask. The others might still be out there. If they're not dead, they're in Moonrise. And gods have mercy on anyone in that hell's pit. Thank you. If anyone can manage it, you can. Just be careful up there, all right? I can't handle anyone else dying. Wonder if I could con some gold off that cleric. Until Jahira gives me reason to think otherwise. Thank you for helping us out there. Those shadows would have torn us to bits. He was joking this morning. Jonas, I mean. He was always joking. He said it was good for morale, but he just liked seeing people laugh. He was a good harper. A good friend. We were comrades in arms. I thought we could have been something more one day, but 
too late now. I don't know. And I never will. I'm sorry. I'd like to be alone. Preparing to march, I wager. Seems that way. What to do? No hesitation. Yeah. Sharp 
as hell. Their eyes are made for the dark. Fire and light is our friend. Make way!
on the move. Nothing. More for me. I'm exhausted. Better find somewhere to camp soon. Keep me out. Be shy. Have a gander at the finest stock.
How's the barricade coming along? Uh, it ain't pretty, but it can take a beating. It'll need to. Cleric's magic won't hold out the darkness forever. If you're all right by Jahira, you're all right by me. Take care now. Yeah. Mm. More than that. Rested enough. Now, forward. Stone or steel. 